So just there, okay, so what I'm doing is we're setting up a, um, a studio in the office. So you can see right behind here, it's very, very easy to set up, very quick as well. It's all portable. You haven't, don't necessarily have to go to a proper TV studio to do this. So you can see we've got the green screen, the pop-up green screen, which is um, just in the background. You can order one on the website. Um, it's very quick to set up. It folds down as well, very easy to store. And we've also got um, some lighting, which is portable lighting. So what we've got is we've got two lights which are actually lighting up the green screen itself. And then we've got um, another light which is positioned next door to the camera. Uh, there's Sal, one of my camera guys there. But this here is the um, sort of like the feel like that's actually um, picking up me, the subject, when I do my piece to camera. And then just behind the, my head here, you can see we've got um, this light here. Now what that's doing is that actually gives me sort of like a, a halo effect. Uh, when I'm actually being recorded. So we're using the green screen and what we're actually gonna do is it's called chroma keying. We're gonna take the green away from the background and we're gonna replace it with something else. You've probably seen it on the weather. That's uh, the most famous kind of chroma keying there is out there. Uh, and they kind of use um, the same sort of effect. They might not necessarily use a green screen, they could use a glass beaded screen or perhaps they might wanna use a blue screen. Now one thing that's quite important when you are doing anything like this is you actually do need to not wear the same color as the background. So if I started to wear green uh, against the background here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna start like moving bits off my body. So if I had a green top on uh, and green trousers, I would just be a floating head on the background. So there we go, very, very easy, very quick way of setting up a portable studio. And very, very well, it's not cheap, but it's very cost effective as well, rather than actually hiring your own studio.